In the heart of New York City, a modest workspace is home to a Catholic publication with a long history and a vast influence. America Magazine, a Jesuit-run National Catholic Weekly, is a forum for critical discussion of religion, society, politics, and culture. America is basically a smart Catholic take on faith and culture. Father Matt Malone has been editor-in-chief of the Jesuit Journal since 2012. The youngest ever to hold that position, he knows how important it is to stay connected to their roots. When St. Ignatius founded the Jesuits, uh, it, it wasn't a new thing to found a religious order. The innovation that Ignatius brought to it was he moved the religious order from the outskirts of the city to the very center of the city. Father John Wynne, who founded the journal in 1909, had a vision of America as basically uh, a Catholic shop overlooking the public square. We are an intersection uh, between the church and the world, uh, and we try to interpret one for the other and help the other learn about the other. Father Jim Martin is an author and editor-at-large for America Magazine and a popular Catholic voice in North America today. America is interested in all sorts of cultural things, uh, film, art, television, because those are ways that people experience God in the world. The Jesuits have been taught to find God in all things, uh, and that means you're always going out on the margins uh, and meeting people where uh, the church might not have met them before. When you look at the secular politics and the, the sort of strictly civil conversation, we see a conversation that is structured by binaries left and right and uh, orthodox and uh, uh, progressive and public and private and church and state. We've never lived in a more partisan world and we've never lived in a more dogmatically, rigidly ideological political world. The Catholic Church is at its best when it's speaking the gospel message uh, in the public sphere. Now. Uh, we can't tell people who to vote for, we're not supposed to tell people who to vote for, but we can help uh, uh, shape the discussion and inform people's consciences. Uh, what we've learned from our history and what America tries to do today is uh, to bring a really robustly uh, Catholic perspective uh, on our problems, which is by definition multidimensional, that transcends the sort of tired categories of left and right and affords us a a different way of thinking and talking about things. This different way of doing things became clear to everyone who read the September 30th, 2013 issue of the magazine. There, in collaboration with multiple Jesuit journals around the world, America published an exclusive and in-depth interview with their fellow Jesuit, Pope Francis. The Society of Jesus is an institution in tension the Pope said, an institution centered on Christ and the Church and therefore able to break out of itself and live on the margins of society. The interview was a strong affirmation of the path America has tried to walk for over 100 years. The new evangelization is uh, fundamentally the old evangelization, right? Um, you know, the message is the same. And most importantly, the messenger is the same, right? There's always challenges when you work on the margins. As someone once said to me, when you work on the margins, you sometimes step out of bounds. So if you're working on those places that the church isn't used to being in, you might step out of bounds a little bit. But I think that goes with the territory. Are we truly a place where every faithful Catholic voice is welcome? You know, are we, uh, do we feel at home in every quarter of the church? Is our analysis, you know, interesting, uh, inventive, uh, perhaps even fun at times, <laughs> while operating within uh, the parameters of, of orthodoxy? It's, it's how to make not only the gospel, but Catholicism attractive to people in a day when a lot of people are suspicious of the church. There's a lot of questioning going on. People are very tired of um, this or lack of discourse that we're having and they're looking for answers um, and they are uh, looking for a way out. The new evangelization uh, requires that we bear witness to a person as persons, that we give an account of the joy that is within us, right? That we be unafraid to say, um, we have found 
the answer to our question. And, um, and he has a name, and he has a church.